So our trusty Omofudu gun that's going into hibernation has been more or less emptied out. And, and our whole life has been reduced to eight ammo crates, a day pack, a backpack, and a camera bag, and a laptop bag. Um, it's a little bit too much still in my opinion, but that's the minimum we can take across the ocean. So now it's about wrapping it all up, getting the extra stuff over there into the storage room that's around the corner. And, and next I have to disconnect the battery system um, from the solar panels. So I've taken the solar panel connection off. Uh, the battery that's in there needs to be removed to get given to give back to Andrew, my friend that borrowed it to us. The house has been fumigated a few, quite a while ago, so to make sure there's no pests on the inside and at the back. And yeah, let's see how today goes. It's a it's a hot day in Cape Town, but we've got a lot of work to do. So let's keep going. And so starts another episode of our adventure. Thank you to our Patreons. It's your support that makes these videos possible. Go to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels and subscribe now. Also, remember to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of all our future adventures. Now it's all about wrapping it all up. So two done. Three more to go. It's sweaty, it's hot. We can do it. Last hurdle to us getting out of Africa and into South America is my COVID-19 PCR test results and the email has just arrived. So let's see. Pathcare results. I failed the test. I'm negative. Excellent. Now we can really um, relax, take our time. Everything's been packed. Tomorrow evening we're on the plane. And for the last time we've got Table Mountain to our back and we're saying goodbye Cape Town. See you in at least nine months. Bye Cape Town. Now I'm spending my last few minutes driving a Fudu, heading off to African Overland in Cape Town to put her put a in hibernation and in storage. We'll um, see her in a while. She's clean, she's fumigated. And the tank is very empty, I've pumped the tires quite hard um, to reduce the, um, the amount of tire touching the, the surface. So hopefully my tires will be in good nick when we come back. Yeah, a little bit sad to um, leave our home on wheels here, but uh, change is good. So let's go and put her in hibernation. So Fudu, bye bye. Here we go. Thank you very much. Please to my home. <laughs> our friend Idis assisted us with a lift to the airport and helping us carry our mountain of baggage. Thanks a lot Idis for a great last night in Cape Town with you and your family. It's much appreciated. More challenge at the airport. The car doesn't allow us on um, the flight with our fridge, although we've paid for excess baggage because it's two case over there maximum. So now we have to find a way of making the bag light. My wife's magic powers to make. I've managed to bring it down to 31.5. And now we are just going we to... We must make three shoes disappear. We are just going to put the shoes on the outside. What is it? Can you keep on in? No. The boot? The boot is in The boot is inside. One boot. I should have just put both the boots in that bloody box. Hello. Hello. You can cool. leave your, your wheelchair on your pocket away. No, no. It must come with. It's tagged. Yes, it's going to take it down to the... Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks.
Hello, hello. Hello, Leo. You can have lots of more. Thank you. Look for the gift. So at last we're taking off. Bit of a stressful day. Got a lot of hassles about the fridge. First because it was two cases over over weight, and then because it was a fridge. But the fridge is on the plane. We're on the plane. How are you feeling, Ali? Relieved. Oh, it's been stressful. <laughs> so it's finally bye bye Cape Town. With the sun setting on our left, we headed northeast towards Qatar for the first nine hour leg of our flight to Brazil. We flew with Qatar Airways as they give you three bags for luggage per person, although this was a much longer flight. Landing in Doha for a two and a half hour layover was also shorter than the other flight options, which had a much longer layover. The brakes were a bit squeaky on landing, but the flight was half full, so we had a bit more space in cattle class than what we are used to. We did not have a lot of time in Doha Airport, but we could appreciate one of the artworks scattered all over the airport. I would like to look at others in the future. Very odd little sad man. It's quite funny. Nice, nice and fast. <laughs> yes. Hello. Then it was the long 14 hour Hello. leg of the journey. From Doha we headed southwest crossing the African continent and the Atlantic Ocean towards Sao Paulo, Brazil. Very much for the great service, eh? One of the most nerve-wracking parts of the international flight for me is will they remember my wheelchair as my chair has been forgotten once before by a cheap airline. Um, I presume you're asking for my vaccine. Arriving in Sao Paulo um, the staff only checked our yes. vaccine status and negative PCR test. They were not really interested in any of the other documentation. Declaration? No, no. Not. You don't need. This is it. Vaccine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 So let's go. After two days in the mega city of Sao Paulo, we recovered from our jet lag and headed off on a very well run metro system. The metro was also very wheelchair accessible once you figured it out how it worked. The Brazilians were also very helpful, although our Portuguese were non existent and we relied on Google Translate a lot. It was great getting out of the city and getting a glimpse of the Brazilian countryside as we headed down to Sao Sebastião and the island of Ilabela. There we would spend 10 days before coming back to Sao Paulo for the last leg of our journey. We will fly to Santiago in Chile to buy our new vehicle and for our South American adventure to start. Uh, boy, tango. I hope I've got the name right. So honey, what's your first impressions of Brazil? Um, first impressions of Brazil, nobody speaks Portuguese. Um, no, you mean English. Everybody speaks everybody, Portuguese. Yes. Everybody speaks, nobody speaks English, but everybody were quite helpful. Um, our little bit of Portuguese and um, our Spanish really help. Um, people don't drive as fast. No, traffic, traffic wasn't that bad. In fact, like they were driving a bit slower than we do in South Africa. Um, Weather is nice, nice food. Um, everything 
seems to be the same price. Yeah, it's a, it's a interesting mix of first and third world. Um, very organised in some ways. It was impressive. The public transport in Sao Paulo, the bus, bus down to the coast was very um, well organised and fast. Um, but then some, something like the electric power grid looks quite ancient. It looks a bit like La Paz. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and yeah, welcoming and chill people. Um, it's they offer to help, and if I say no, they don't insist, which for me is always a bonus. They get it that you want to do it yourself. Love the fruit. Uh, the food uh, hasn't been, like, we haven't been able to find, like, an interesting um, local food yet. But we also don't really, we can't read the, the menu. Yeah, yeah. So we don't know what options we have. We yeah. have to Google Translate. Yeah, so, so enjoyable. The uh, wine is not that great. It's so yeah. far. The beer is good. Yeah, the beer is nice. Yes. We, we found favorite um, original. original. Yes. Um, yeah, and um, it's been good now for the last two days to actually start chilling. Um, we've got another six or seven days here before we be back to Sao Paulo and we have to do our next COVID test. And eat the fridge chili. And that, get the fridge on the plane. Challenge. Yeah, so a few challenges coming up on the 25th, but until then, Child. Yeah. Um, yeah, another um, exception. Um, it seems like uh, more body shapes is acceptable in a bikini. People are chilled in that way, which I think is good. Yeah, you don't need to have a supermodel body to wear a bikini, and, and it's not a big issue. Uh, and I think I, I enjoy that. So, yeah, thumbs up for Brazil so far. We've only had a little taste, and we'll come back um, later this year or next year for a more serious taste. But yeah, thumbs up so far. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our patrons for making these videos possible.